We're going to go over now how to work on cleaning up the uh, what's called the bed. And since this is 137 years old, you're going to want to take some safety precautions that uh, maybe are a little more because these are very old mold spores. So it starts with rubber gloves and then you have earplugs. So you're going to try to close up every single orifice in your body that could be exposed to this. And uh, and then the next thing would be to uh, have a mask with uh, organic cartridges. So I'm going to put that one on as well. And then we're going to uh, turn on a vacuum cleaner and run it while we're actually cleaning it up. Now, what I'll use, these are brass brushes. And this one's already worn out. So I'm going to throw it away. Very long. Maybe 10 minutes of work. Maybe 10 minutes. They're soft and they have a tendency to flatten out quick and also to lose their sharpness. So next is the mask. And then one around here. So you don't really want to work it with your scraper. You only work around it. You don't want to change that dimension. Because even using this will change how thick it is. You know, it's uh, size.
we're going to talk about another aspect of the repair. Just so you understand what these are. This is called a key bed. And the reason is because this is the bed upon which the keys sit. They have felts. There's also felts in here and here. But <clears throat> there are felts that need replaced on the uh, keys too. But one thing I want to point out if you bring the camera around here and uh, put it in close up right on this, this one right here, this pin, that pin. If you look at it, you'll see it's turned to the left quite a bit. Um, you'll see it's not oriented like this. Instead, it's turned. And uh, this is a technique of repair that some repairmen will do to tighten up the fit of the pin to the key stick. Instead of refelting it, they'll just turn this, and you can do that. But these all need to be straightened out. Like you can see, this one is much straighter than the one we looked at over here. So they all need to be straightened up, and we'll show that in a, another video. But the trick when doing this work is to um, keep yourself safe. But you can see the, you know, and then do an effective job. But we haven't really changed the fit of the... Um, the felt to the underside of the key stick because we didn't really sand the circle parts. We only sanded around. And of the various ways to clean the wood, I found that these brushes are your best bet. Sandpaper will make a real mess and you're putting particulate matter everywhere. You don't want to do that. At least with these brushes, you're not dropping material anywhere. And then it's just a matter of cleaning it up, but anyway, this is again the process of bed cleanup, and we already in an earlier video ripped off the felt from here, removed all of the felts and the spacers here, the felt spacers here, and then of course another thing we'll do is polish up these pins, and just for fun, I'll just do one if you want to come hold that, and I'll go ahead and just polish one pin 